Yes. Yes, I want to see black men and black women together, but I want to see black women valuing black men as black men deserve to be valued. Black men, you are worthy. You have done great things in the last 20 or 30 years. You've taken your image back from cops, deadbeat dads and everything else. You've stepped up to the challenge and this is your time. This is your time. The gender war is over. Average at best happened in 2021. That is over. 2022, we're going into it. Self-awareness is sexy. Men are going to show the work and women are going to show their work. We're going to move forward. We're going to move forward. And if you want to move forward together with us, men are there waiting for you. Men are there worrying for you. But you're going to earn your spot because he has to earn his value. And in that way, in that way, in Now, I think that statement right there embodies Kevin Samuel's message uh, better than what we're seeing purported online right now. We want to keep this positive. RIP to Kevin Samuels. Um, let's pull up the police report that we have here. So this police report came out uh, showing some of the details of what happened in the incident. Let me close down this real quick. That was a profound message, and that's most of what his message embodied. I agreed with a lot of things that Kevin Samuel said on his platform. I disagreed with some of the things, really. I made videos disagreeing and agreeing on the things that he said. But largely, that's what his message really embodied, and I think a lot of people can get on board with that message. Um, so the police report says he was with Hortensia Al 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 Alcantara, struggling to say her name, this is what's pretty much going viral right now. People are making um or, or talking about the story, putting out various pictures in regards to this young lady trying to find out her identity. I think they should just let the family mourn, but we're here to give you all the details and the news. So this report's being posted by TMZ and Spiritual Word. It's um it's, it's the police statement from what uh the incident report cover sheet. It says that the lady, I'm struggling to say her last name, so I'm just going to call her the lady, stated that she met Kevin Samu Mr. Samuels last night, came to his apartment, and spent the night with him. She also said that, that early morning, Mr. Samuels complained of chest pain, and she attempted to help him. But he fell on top of her and proceeded, and proceeded to notify 911. So she proceeded to notify 911. She also said she requested the 911 operator to contact the front desk for a defibrillator to keep Mr. Samuels responsive until Grady arrived because she is a nurse. So she was a nurse that attempted to do CPR after he had fallen over on her, according to this report. A 32-year-old nurse. According to these documents, he's 57 as well. But this is the police report that we're hearing or that we're receiving from the Atlanta police. Not going to say too much here. Let's keep this positive. I'm actually disgusted at the things I'm seeing on the Internet. I didn't expect this, but. You know, it is what it is. We're going to wrap this one up, though. All right.